this one and like you mentioned just on the overall records both teams looking good it really just comes down to who finds that first blood you think yeah the first blood is gonna be a major part and even after that the similarities between these teams when it comes to post plants or retakes atlanta phase are number one in both of those categories and the opposite side subliners are number three in both of those categories so this should be one of those back and forth sds but here's the quick wrap from atlanta down through blue stuns and nades largely get a bit of a tag on it but it doesn't hinder this phase approach over towards b to b he just walks in to b up the ladder long range shots come through through mid that's sib who's trying to keep this defense honest over towards b but that's enough information for phase to say it. let's just track back see if we can get on to a yeah let's just track back and see if we can isolate hydra as well they find the first blood onto hydra through top heli sip trying to get out with his life he is the bomb carrier but it's immediately recovered by busy it turns into a 3v3 and with only 45 seconds left, Atlanta phase have decided the rat pack to take control of this B site as the bomb is now going to get planted. Nope, the team kill come in, so a BZ got to make something happen. Does get one around the back. Off the regen, should stay safe. Isolates this down to a 1v2 standing. But New York had seen him drop into the underground, and they're going to reposition back over towards the Atlanta side of the map. A BZ, oh, just able to catch the top of Sky's head, but that's not enough for him to kind of read the information and transition. So New York... Outside of the fact that it looked like Atlanta was kind of having their way with the map, they respond pretty darn nicely on their defense. Yeah, that's good work right there from the subliners. Even your teammate getting first blooded, you still stay strong on your setup. You read the rotations coming in from Atlanta phase. You're able to catch Simp as he tries to put himself back in towards bottom blue, make it a 3v3. And then once you take care of that player, realizing they're applying all the pressure over towards B Street, you start to get aggressive underneath Helipad, take that side of the map and close out the round. Subliner strong on the first defense. Other thing to keep in mind here about Atlanta, when they're on the offensive side, this team loves to get the bomb down, especially on this map. The problem is they don't often hold, or pretty flip-flop that. They don't get the bomb down often. When they do, they always hold it successfully, essentially 100% win rate when they plant. So that will be the focus here for Atlanta offensively on the flip. New York, not bad either. It just comes down to, can they actually get anything going in that first blood department as Sib will step on in towards B, bomb nearby but no, not going to be able to quite stay alive. First blood goes to Atlanta. Yeah, Mr. First Blood finds the first blood. This guy's instantly there for the response, but now you're forced to go out of Atlanta face to rotate over towards B. It's time for Hydra to strike. He's timing his jump up. His teammate's still giving him information as he's already behind enemy lines to potentially find one for free. Well done. Does exactly that. Bomb being planted at A all the meanwhile. And he still skies lurking. If he can just keep his life, that would be fine. Isolation from Atlanta is quick, though. So to into the very rapid 2v2. Shots from Hydra landing, but not for a kill. Sip it easy. Now trying to work this one together. And Hydra and Kismet are just going to try to stay away from them and maybe get behind the uh -oh. play. But Kismet looks left instead of right. And that's not enough for them to get the info. Abizi does trade out Sip 1v1. 20 seconds on the clock and Abizi has no idea that Kismet slipped to the other side of the map. Misses the timing on the check. Kismet still checks over the bomb, doesn't see anything, and Abizi may have missed his window to jump on for the defuse, and yeah, sure has. Yeah, it's just no time for Abizi. Trying to locate where Kismet is. He has multiple different angles where he can check this bomb to make sure you're not defusing. At least if you are Abizi, you do end the round on a three streak, but the subliners get another round on the board. Just once it turns into a 3v3, you see their main plan was we got to put a lot of focus over towards B. There are attacks, force everybody from Atlanta face to rotate towards that side of the map, and then you allow Hydra to make an individual play. Takes down yeah. Celium, and you trade effectively over towards the B street side. Even though Abizi takes down Skies in a 2v2, even Kismet gets some bad timing. Just not enough time for Abizi to locate where Kismet was. So 2 0 start for New York, but Abizi holding his life stays on a 3 spree. Stuns out Kismet, able to stop the play over towards blue. Atlanta largely stacked over towards the B side of the map, and it's Sib at pretty good range, able to find first blood. Skies also has Selium in his sights, but that fight gets delayed as we continue into the 3v4. And this is a different look right here from the subliners. First defense, it was everyone in the spawn. This time, it's everyone up towards the B street side. The Skies finds the second onto Selium. BZ and Draza now left in the 2v4. Draza wrapping his way all the way back into his spawn. He's trying to open up a lane towards that B side, and BZ still trying to find a timing through the middle of the map. And Draza, if he can make noise towards A, a BZ's hoping that someone will transition his direction, but instead he backs off, tries to support Draza in whichever bomb site they choose to go to. 30 seconds on the clock, and well, BZ's been seen, and he will drop off the map. 
Kismet. Yeah, that works too. Okay, so how about this from New York? A little 3 0 start for the boys. The adjustments right there on the defensive setup. They said, all right, first time is a little more difficult when we sat in the back of our spawn, but this time we're going to get all out aggressive through underground, up through the B Street, find the first blood, find the second. Then in the 4v2, it's just not enough time for the rest of Atlanta phase. Put themselves in a situation. As you see, a BZ trying to go for the fadeaway, unfortunately, he falls off of the map. He was going to die regardless. But New York subliners responding with a great search and destroy so far as they find three in a row. I need to know who the culprit of the Wilhelm scream is right then. <laughs> that what are we doing? I wouldn't be surprised if it was Clayster, you know, as many times that guy falls off the map. Here you know? comes New York through bottom blue. Stuns and nades over the top at Heli. Not really landing from either team's perspective, so the setups will kind of play out the way that play anticipated. But you do have Draza up top at Propane, clearing up the lane. Long angle from a BZ oh. to the pistol and nearly doubles up, but Hydra gets the quick trade and Sib behind that turns it into a 3v2 for New York. Even with the BZ finding the first blood, instant response right there from the Sunbliners, and now they have the advantage. In the 3v2, Sib was getting ready to fall off the map as well, but Sib wins that second gunfight, automatically puts Selium in a 1v3. He is in a great position, though, because they don't know where he is. He might be able to find a freebie here. You see him? Hello? Yeah, again, he's lit up bright white for us, but <laughs> oh. laying prone on top of that little fence line could be maybe a little bit more difficult. And obviously the result goes the way of New York with the numbers. I've told you, I mean, hey, first bloods, it's been, I would say, inconvincing in terms of how the stat line approached it because yeah. almost every single first blood's been quickly traded. So we're getting early 3v3s. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. It's like, even with the subliners getting first blooded, they're instantly in a position to find a response. And then on top of that, find a second kill. So they've been an advantage basically every single round. And now that puts them up 4-0. Wonder if Kismet did fall. Because he was on a little bit of a streak. No, him and Sibba currently on four. Potentially finding a couple cruise missiles can close out this game. But this has been a response that I was not expecting. Yeah. Just very, very clean SD from New York. A couple players possibly threatening for streaks. But Atlanta, first blood this time. Not traded back as the date comes out. A BZ inside the site. Mixie with Hydra, but the 1v1 goes the way of New York. So again, we've got another quick 3v3. Now, if you are Atlanta Face, just trying to work up to the B Street, but already subliners take advantage of the map. Kismet pushes his way up through bottom blue, finds another kill onto Celium. End of man advantage now in the 3v2, and you basically have everything cut off. You even have Sib making sure no one sneaks through on their ground. No one's going to overextend to try to go over towards the A side, as you know where Atlanta Phase are approaching it. Yeah. That smoke gets invested. Here comes High. Has all of the information, and Sib is there to pick up on the opening damage. Last player down low is Draza. And even though he does find the first, he's got no bomb. And this is a very difficult 1v3 in total, and that's the reason why New York is watching literally everything. And Sky's starting to feel himself a little <laughs> bit. Not sure what we would call that dance move, and I don't know if I want to know. They starting to have a little bit of fun out there. And when you're up 5-0 in s and D, Kismet picks up the final kill to earn a cruise missile. Got to start having a blast as the subliners are not making any mistakes in this search and destroy. Even though the first play went the opposite way, it was instantly responded. And then again, Kismet finds the second kill to put them in advantage. Usually at this point, I'm expecting Atlanta phase to show me a little bit different in the middle round adjustments. But every single time they try to make an adjustment, the subliners are there to make yep. the adjustment. So... This has just been one round away for the subliners to close this one out. Flawless search and destroy potentially on the card. Sim trying to contest bottom blue, but Hydra just staying patient, finds the easy gunfight. Now you've got the streak getting called in by Kismet. And wow, did not have a speed 6-0 on the cards here. But New York are looking pretty darn good for it. Hydra still carrying the bomb, has not committed towards a site yet. Instead, there's a gunfight with the BZ down low that eventually gets finished off. And the last two Atlanta defenders are in a really, really bad spot as Hydra also takes down Draza Selium, last one left alive. 1v4, good luck, have fun. Yeah, hey, GG, man. GG, let's just move on from this one. He finds the first kill, but it's instantly traded. Subliners respond with a very, very dominant map in game number two. I don't think I've seen Atlanta phase get 6 0 a lot in my lifetime. Yeah. And that's the first time it's ever looked that clean. New York respond. Tied the series up at one. That was a beat down. Yes, sir. Only other team that's even really contested Atlanta search was Toronto. Toronto, so, yeah. Yeah, that could be a very eye-opening experience for maybe how this series goes if we get it a little further down the line. But, wow.
I mean, we're talking six minutes and 36 seconds of the total game time right there. <laughs> Eight and oh from Kismet, six from Hydra. I mean, pick someone to talk about from New York and you're gonna find a successful storyline to sell. Oh yeah, they just dominated the game. No one could do any wrong. Like perfect game plan every single round, but they needed to step up the pacing. They were able to do that. And then even after getting first blood at the majority of the times, just their game plan was too strong to instantly respond and then put themselves in an advantage after that. So New York able to tie the series up at one. But when I was looking at the numbers before like we even got into this series, they were really close when you talk about the hard points. They were really close when you talk about the S&Ds, number sure. one and number two team there. But in control, Atlanta Faze are the best control team that we currently have. New York, they're sitting at seven, but a lot of that is boosted because they just found three easy wins on high rise. So this is the <laughs> mode that they have been struggling in. And Atlanta Faze, you need to capitalize on that. And this could be the map mode combination that may determine the entirety of the series based on how the hard point went so well for Atlanta and the search and destroy the converse side went so well for New York. So join us the back side of the break because we're going to be heading to Karachi for our control and then we'll at least have a skid row hard point to follow up. This is your monster energy matchup. We'll be back after this. your game with the scuff the official controller of the call of duty league slice up your competition with the executive chef operator now available in game in the call of duty store
Start the season strong with the Call of Duty League Pack. Grab yourself the CDL Operator, Weapon Blueprint, and so much more. Check out the Call of Duty store in-game now. The Call of Duty League is brought to you by Monster Energy, the official energy drink of the CDL. Welcome back to the CDL and our Monster Energy matchup as our friends in Columbus are giving us like production bits with like the Wilhelm scream, people falling off the map, throwing in a little bit of extra effort. It's our boy John Fenn with the backwards hat sitting in front of all the monitors. We love that guy. What type of Atari game is that, Alan? Like, I'm, I'm so old, <laughs> but I, I'm not that old. I saw Wait, it on no. six different screens a day. Is that Galaga? What is it called again? Why are you calling me out to identify it? Because you should know, my friend. Okay, that's just uncalled for. <laughs> Let's get into the Karachi control. We were kind of talking about it before we loaded on up. Hey, both these two teams do square up on the on the math, the paper, yes. pretty darn well. I mean, both yeah. teams have put on some really well numbers when it comes to their offense in particular. So that could be the deciding factor or just down to who actually defends the zone better. Yeah, I'm thinking it all is going to come out to defense because both of these squads, they're right next to each other. We talk about the attack in rounds fourth and six but fifth and sixth also on the defensive end. So this is just an absolute square up between both of these teams. But if you are a land of phase, you need to be able to shake off that last SD with loss. It went too damn fast. Hopefully yeah. that five minute break does justice for them as they start off initially on the attacking ground already. Sip is gonna be on that point. Yeah, great trades though from Atlanta. So they do not expect the pinch on the backside. Oh Ooh. my goodness, a PZ. Nearly got the Whirly Bird on him, but it's actually Sib who takes Kismet out with the team nade. So everything kind of resets here. 26.26, Hydra aggressive, and just holds down the trigger into two phase bodies. So now all of a sudden things come to a bit of a significant pause here for Atlanta, trying to work their way out of spawn. Yeah, they're trying to work their way out of Chicken Coop side, trying to take top three as well, and eventually complete this hate capture. But again, it's Kismet timing that deep flank as his teammates are applying pressure through the middle of the map. Puts himself in a position to make sure no one is going to overextend over towards B. They have to only focus on the A point. It's all about time in this flank, though. He is actually a deeper route as well. And he should be pretty loud because he's not going to have that dead silence. He actually does pop it here. And does this spot the player towards top three? It's going to be a freebie oh, no. right there for Sully. And that's an opportunity possibly for Atlanta to work their way over towards the A zone. If he also drops right in towards Sib. Trades again, though. Decent now for New York as they hold a three-life lead defensively. Hydra also sees the trophy system that just alerts him that Selim is up top, but can't quite lock down the shots. Kismet follows up and at least confirms the kill. Only one tick of progress been earned at this point. This has been fantastic for the news of New York. Follow-up shots from Kismet. Good. A 4-1 start for the Bulldog. And all of a sudden, Atlanta once again reeling, trying to get out of spawn. Yeah, only 14 seconds left. Make oh, it 10. Oh. New York able to find three kills around the map. Send him last player up. Everyone else now forced to come off spawn. And that is a dominant, dominant defensive round right there from the subline. Was just trading efficiently through the middle of the map. Every time someone had to pop off and get a two piece, it was usually on the back of Kismet making it happen. But New York only allowed one segment. That's exactly how you want to respond after that S and D. Yeah, and I think even more so maybe after the hard point where no yeah. one's getting trades and no one's winning gunfights. Atlanta's biggest motor towards success on offense is by outslaying their opponents. So you just kind of reduce that from happening and you keep contesting all those key high ground positions over the top of A and outside of the initial break off, Atlanta never really even sees the zone again. Yeah, they couldn't get on to the point. And now if you are the subliners, let's just complete the segments anywhere that we possibly could. And this is already a complete blind counter. Only simp over towards the cafe area as all of New York flying pressure. Can they find this kill? Kismet at least attempts to. It sets up simp to find the trade. But New York already in a wow. position to pause that game clock. Kai is trying to do everything he can to just stay alive at this B point. Make this as annoying as possible, but he drops rapidly. And now off spawn New York, not 100% sure how open this A site is. Trophy system will supply some support for Sim, trying to capture as much as humanly possible. Atlanta mostly working on trying to work on the flank here. Two players through jump side. Sim may have gotten a call from a teammate as he kind of turns his head to look for this. And the first tick gets locked in. Second still being worked on. Sib has not been contested yet, but Atlanta are starting to find kills, and Sib will jump on forward, find the kill, and deplete some of the progress. Yeah, BZ with the super deep route flank. He's able to come up behind the players towards top three, find two, and now force all of the subliners all spawn. Only have one segment to their name. How do they decide to attack out? They try to put pressure over towards the junkyard side to take down. Sell him. Great trades are there. 
but there's still only 40 seconds left. Atlanta phase is doing a great yeah. job of just trading efficiently, just the same way the way the subliners did in round one. A very, very 50-50 game at the moment. New York have hotel control, trying to use that as the location for their main setup. Selium top AC not seen. Hydra does get enough support from Kismet to confirm one elimination, but the problem is it doesn't allow any route to get onto either zone. Sky's able to maybe provide some sort of an attack over towards B, especially with the help from Kismet a little bit deeper over towards the Atlanta spawn. That's where the clock will stop. Yeah, the clock is going to stop. There's still a player here to contest him. It's going to be a BZ. I expect nothing less out of one of the fastest players that we have in the CDL. Puts himself on a five, make it six, picks up the cruise missile. But that second segment is not going to get complete for the subliners over towards A. They're in an opportunity to overextend that time, force an extra minute on the game clock. And with three dead, yeah, Atlanta phase, I'm forced to now give that one up. And Hydra does try to play for a bit of spawn kill over towards the Atlanta side of the map, but only finds one before being traded. Extra 60 seconds will be tallied on four life gap in favor of Atlanta. New York, though, lots of space through mid-map. The only one really to contest this is Sim, and he finds perfect timing. Hydra right in front of him, but he avoids the double kill, and things will reset with New York trying to find entry to beat. Yeah, it's a big kill to take down Sim, though. That's a great start. Now you have somewhat red control, but do you read the positioning of a BZ who's currently blocking your spawns by simply being pushed out towards junk? I thought it was going to be Sim trying to commit towards that gunfight, but a BZ might have found another timing on the map. He decides to go on this late pinch, but Atlanta phase, they aren't budging. They are waiting for New yeah. York to make the move. It just comes down to do they know the threat is as close to B as it is. Draws it in trouble. Lots of damage, but can't confirm the second kill, so the clock stops again. This time at 30 seconds. New York would just sieve on for now. Sky's trying to make sure nobody rotates back in Sib's prediction. Perfect on doors to BZ. 28 seconds of the clock. Atlanta still trying to make a mess of this red push. So New York has to flood this through the middle of the map. There's not an option to get here quick, but the spot is so far away. Wallbang tags are decent, but Atlanta will clear the zone. Clock continues to tick, and New York is going to be hard-pressed to find entry back in door B. Yeah, with only 20 seconds left, everyone coming off spawn. Farthest player post up is going to be Hydra. It all starts by taking these players down towards junk. Job well done. They find the second kill as well. So now you can still get on the point. You just got to get past Sip. Sip is going to be sitting in towards the bottom of the ticket. He cuts down two with the pistol, tries to take down the third. But it's already job well done. Atlanta phase holds strong on the defensive end. But they do allow the subliners to yep. get an extra three segments. So that could play a dividend as we get to the later half of this game. Man, it's just so surprising when you see... Again, how both of these two teams have fared on Karachi in the past, and it has all been by way of how successful and how quick a lot of their offenses have been. But neither able to really do too much in the first minute and a half <laughs> that they're given at the spawn-up moment. So see if that will change here for New York, as they had a really tough time existing on the top third position over the top of this A zone, at least initially, but we're good at trying to follow up behind that. Atlanta going to try to take their aims over towards B off the get-go this time with just Sam jumping onto A to keep the focus of the New York defense. Yeah, this is perfect. This is a perfect game plan right here from Atlanta phase. You get one player on towards the A point. Everyone else overextended to try to get over towards B, but Hydra still in a position to make something happen. He finds two off the rotation. Abizi knows I just can't sit on a cafe by myself. Takes down one, but the skies is instantly there for the trade. New York read that perfectly. Oh, so oh my! Nice little snap up towards Skies. He was looking for him the entire time. And with that follow up kill from BZ mid map, now you've got Sip streaking over towards the B zone. First tick of progress at A has not been finished, but the focus for Atlanta is purely here on B. Double stack in. A BZ working over towards the dumpster. Only finds one. It does allow Kismet to break through, but he's going to have to do a lot more than that. Second tick of progress in. Third on the way. Skies cannot get over the top, and Atlanta's not just going to get the 60 seconds here. They've already got a BZ at A. Oh, yeah, that's easy right there. Too easy for a BZ. They Secure that B point. Now you already have one segment complete over towards A. If it gets a little bit scary, you can invest that cruise missile to walk away with the round win, but the guns are now hot. They find two, make it three. Farthest player pushed up is going to be Sib. Wow. A BZ. He and Sib combined for that kill. Second segment already done. Atlanta phase might have just called the round. Yeah, there's that slaying presence that we were talking about. Nade comes over the top, though, and actually OB. finds two inside the zone. Hold on a second with the follow-up Sib. It's going to be good for three. Kismet pushing up the map. He's gotten into the P3 hardpoint. 
he can just completely flank this whole Atlanta setup, but only comes away with one. And now New York have to scramble to defend against this top fire position. Yeah, a minute and 50. New York only have 11 lives remaining. So if you are in landed phase, you can take your time, hit a couple routes. And that's what you see Selim is currently doing. He's going to jump over the backside of Dumpster, block that close ball for the sub and potentially set up a pinch. But New York, they know exactly where this pressure is coming in from. Sid holding down a great position towards the top fountain. Can only find one for his endeavors. But now Atlanta phase, all you have to do is just take your time here. Take the part, find the kills. You can either capture this last tick or get the last eight kills, whatever is most convenient for you. Minute 19 on the clock as it's paused with the BZ inside the A zone. Next to him on the other side of the wall is Draza. New York get in for the contest. Team kill comes through and Sib clears. Can he get significant depletion? That's going to be the real key here as Atlanta does not have any follow-up. And yeah, he's going to deplete the entire third ticket progress. Still a chance here for New York's defense. But yeah, it's time to invest that cruise missile. He said this was a little bit too close for comfort. This is a round that we have to walk wow. away with. But his teammates fall in those fights. Cruise missile gets nothing. So already a minute knocked off of the game clock. Subliners have been able to bring these lives back. They're currently only down by five, but still only a matter of moments. BZ finds the first kill. Draza not there for the trade and just keep on staying alive. Like that's what yep, New York yep. are doing so great. They're finessing over towards the chicken coop side. You're forcing Atlanta face to overextend every single time. But with those two make it three, Atlanta phase are going to close out the round. Wow. I mean, that cruise was getting called down. You had, what, Simp and Draza both sitting inside a red waiting for New York to kind of flood through Firehole and see if they can find a way to get the free kills. No eliminations come through, and it's actually New York who get two off the back end of it. And then, like you mentioned, it looked like New York were going to be set up perfectly, but still, Atlanta members getting around the back, the big key after capturing that B zone. Yeah, because all you have to do is just allow one of your teammates to get one kill, and then the players who was working on the back end, it was a majority of the time it was selling him. He knows exactly what that player is spawned. So only seven lives remaining. You find three kills through the middle of the map, you potentially put him in a trap, but just the dominance on that round allowed Atlanta phases to win that one, even though it came down to the wire. Now up 2-1, back on the defensive side. Subliners found a little bit of a success, at least in the segment column. Couldn't walk away with the W. They need this one of course round five. Yep. Kismet. Ay, ay, ay. Nice little bounce up from a BZ. Three in a row is what he carries as New York still exists on the A zone. First tip will be locked. But a BZ off the reload. He's got Simp on the other side of him. The crossfire is menacing. Sky's top third. Maybe not seen by a BZ here as Yep Draza will at least find one before the trade comes through. So the second tick will not be fully completed. And now New York have to continue to worry about getting out of their spawn. And well, that kill on the simple will make sure they can actually get out and flood over towards it. Yeah, they're gonna be able to get out for free now. The second segment is about to be complete. You still know that Selim is gonna be sitting towards this top broken corner. That's actually three dead. So this is where you hit that go button. Leave the last player towards top three on towards the point. Everyone else try to take somewhat control of the cafe. But with the BZ finding that kill into Hydra, you see Sib's focus completely changes. He can't play for a couple spawn kills. You got to wrap back and try to fight that player towards Junk. Fortunately, gets some bad timing there. So Atlanta face, they are ready for the push. Pushed out towards the oh. Junk area. Even though New York were able to extend time by a minute, Atlanta face set up exactly how they want to be. They're firmly in control. The only player really in their way is Skies. And wow, Selly, I'm able to catch him from the low ground. Kismet not able to get out of spawn, and this is where things start to get really deadly for New York. Ah, yeah, the yeah. Five kills. You could not allow this to turn into what the hard point looked like, where Atlanta just winning 1v1s time after time, and that's what's currently existing. Sky's able to find a single kill, but this is so punishing towards the life count. 21 play 13. Atlanta absolutely frying. And Abizi, I'm pretty sure, ended that kill that kill feed on a 6 tree, so he earns himself another cruise missile. Just absolutely dominating the junkyard, and you see the lives remaining for both squads. That put a really hefty margin for New York to not make any mistakes. That's all four dead again in the feed. Atlanta, they said, uh, that round one was a little bit of a shakeup, but we're here to play. <laughs> 30 and 14 out of Abizi. Yeah, let's start making it rain with some streaks. First one gets called in. So I'm not quite able to get away, but Abizi's cruise missile does confirm the trade. 17 plays, eight. New York has Simp to worry about. Uh-oh, uh-oh, not up. what you want to see in a BZ right behind. Three go down again in New York are just fighting a battle of inches where you give up something one place, you try to gain it back on another, but it's just so costly. Yeah, now with five lives remaining, it has to be picture perfect from this point on. 30 seconds as well, remaining on the game clock. It all starts by finding the opening kill. Great shots right there out of skies, but it's instantly here. Sip 
finds a trade. No more lives remaining. Sip trying to go for the second. He does get gunned down by Kismet, but there's no more respawns. 12 to 3. This is looking like Atlanta. And that looked a lot more like what we expect from Atlanta. Just absolutely dominating teams in the slaying department. Holy cow. I mean, like you said, first two rounds feels like, okay, we've got ourselves a game of tug of war here. Both teams yeah. very even, putting up good defense. Sure, you had New York kind of getting away with more on their offense, but after that, it was just all land all the time. Yeah, they just made it look easy. Can you imagine coming all spawn on your attacking rounds and you can't get out of your base because Sip is on one side and Abizi's on the yeah. other? Like, yeah. you're usually finding ARs in those positions, but the SMGs were applying the pressure, finessing multiple lives. Abizi every single time at Junkyard. He found himself on multiple 6th Street. He picked up two cruise missiles on the map. 33 and 16, 5k Unreal. damage. And then the opposing side, Sip right next to him. His SMG duo, 51 dam 5100 damage. They just took over on the later half of that game. And Atlanta phase found himself firmly up 2-1. It's just when the tiny terrors get brewing like that, it it's just doesn't feel stop, like... Man. Yeah, dude. And they have to feel like the most frustrating kills on the map. It's just so much finesse. They're so hard to confirm kills on. And then when you match that on top of the fact that New York's just not winning 1v1 gunfights in round three and round four, I, I mean, okay, I just game over, it feels like at that point. It's just so hard to battle back when the team is moving like this. So yeah, the first two rounds, it looked like, okay, you know, we didn't expect that either team would have much of an advantage on the map. Both kind of had similar success stories in the past, but I'll tell you, map three, or round three, round four, is all about killing and Atlanta does that very well. Yeah, they just, in the round three on the attacking round, they just caught him off guard with the game plan right off the rip. You send everyone over towards B, and you eventually stack that point. You close that one out first, and then it's only a matter of time before you're able to close that A, especially when you were out slaying them the way that you were. So now that Atlanta phase find themselves up 2-1, you're going into a skid row HP, and if anything, like, map number one is going to tell us, like, Atlanta phase and these respawn game modes, they have found a different level of play where they're just making the game look easy it doesn't matter if they're not winning rotations they are finding breaks and even after that when they usually tend to struggle in hps it's because they're instantly getting broken on map number one we saw it on full display they were able to fold full 60 holes basically time after time so if you are the subliners again in a, in a situation where you have to forget that last map wasn't even close as you got to the round three and round four but now you're going into a schedule hp where Anyone can win this. You just have to make sure you're the team that's setting up properly to hold down some good time. And well, to speak to that point a little bit more in detail, you're dealing with New York, who buys the numbers are the number one rotation percentage yes. win team. Atlanta is the number two team. So yeah. expect to see a lot of this map likely come down to who gets the P2, P5 first. I, I mean, that's often the case as it is normally, but when you've got two teams that are very much so forward thinkers, that is going to be, I think, maybe the biggest difference maker here is when do these teams prefer to try to get themselves set up and can they successfully do it? And as you take a look at the numbers between both of these guys on Skid Row specifically, obviously you're going to have a lot of successes in SMG finessing around, even pulling out the MCW at points, but a 1.37 for Sim, 1.34 for Hydra. I expect nothing less out of both of these MVP caliber kind of players as they just put down the damage. They also soak in time. These guys are Mr. Do It All on some Skid Row HP. Yeah, that really is. And I think so, it just in particular, it's at a league where we see a lot of the high KDs are owned by AR players due to their, you know, maybe at some points, smaller numbers of engagements, yeah. more about rotating and locking down and anchoring up some key hard points like we're going to see here. The fact that they're able to pull numbers like that really is impressive. Like, flat out, I feel like the teams that are going to have the best SMGs by the end of the year are likely going to be the teams that find themselves, I would say, at worst on Sunday, uh, champs, uh, champs Finals when we get there eventually. So we'll see if that will continue to be the case here and, and for those two players in particular. But I will say, outside of the SMGs finding success, I think a lot of this is just down to will we see Skies and Civ actually play a good duo game because we know we're going to get out of draws and sell it's happened year after year. Yeah, 9 and 30 out of 7 map number one. Yeah, that ain't cut, cutting it, my friend. You need to make sure you're spawned in on some Skidder HP because we know how impactful those P2 holes can be. Full 6 yeah. every single time if your ARs are holding down their lanes. Also at P5, another hill where you need those ARs to make sure they're setting up properly, holding the head glitches, sitting towards back crates, just absolutely making the game easier for their SMGs. But yeah, when I was even looking at the numbers a little bit more in depth, these guys might be number one and number two in rotations. But the good thing for Atlanta, out of all the other maps that they have, they are second in hold percentage on a map like Skid Row compared with the subliners who were sitting at eight. You see the numbers right there. Like, if you're not getting holds on a map like Skid Row, you're not going to find success. They are 2 and one New York are 3 and one But somehow, somewhere, they're getting it done. Just simply putting themselves on a better side of the map. I don't understand it.
It's all about those rotations and holding those rotations, to put it very plainly. So, again, like we already talked about, both teams have been great when it comes to rotating on this map in particular. It just comes down to will they be able to successfully use that rotation as a means towards winning this map. Atlanta spawning on the preferred side, and they're also the first ones in towards the hilt. New York largely trying to focus on working deep around this setup, but Atlanta with the first opening kills can turn their focus back to make sure P2 stays safe. That was such a beautiful play right there to draw. So I'm definitely taking that and putting it into my rank play arsenal. The fact that he was instantly going to play for anyone trying to overextend, playing for that P2, but he doesn't spot anyone. He actually pushes up to the God steps and allows his teammates to put their sole focus on the double doors. Even though it does lead to the break for the subline, as you allow the rest of your teammates to not put any focus on towards P2. But as I say that, you see the subline yeah. just laying all around the map. They're getting a lot of P1 time, and they were already able to flip those spawns. Subline is in control right now, P2. But Atlanta will be able to break through the old time. This will make this rotation not feel as punishing. Finding 30 plus seconds worth of time or so on P1. But the problem is, like you mentioned, New York fully established and ready to go here for the second hard point. Atlanta will try to at least get through this crate's position. But Hydra's just kind of playing an easy corner here. Just watching people to cross in front of him. Yeah, he's just watching two ankles at once. His teammates are giving him the comms of anyone crossing over towards the P5 area. But he's also holding down Garage. So subliners... 20 uncontested seconds so far. Setup has been great. Hydra, his positioning finally gets known. And now the rest of Atlanta phase. Once you take care of him, you try to send it, and you get pounded right there by the subliners. They find all four kills in the feed. Kismet also is on a five streak, so full 60 hole from response right here from the subliners. It's a great, great answer. And a, even better than that, they get a perfect read from Hydra. Topside fire on where Atlanta is rotating and how many have already pushed through. So Sky's very alert that, yeah, there are face players that are already set up for P3. On four in a row. Simp in the corner, dealt with through the wall bang. Now just one off of a cruise missile, which could be huge for New York to try to blow this game wide open. Yeah, him and Kismet are both one kill off. So as long as it's not a baited switch between them, it's actually a baited switch between Sip and skies the trade is going to be there and kismet i don't know if he was able to pick it up yeah, yes he they, did he yeah. did so that's two cruise missiles to work with new york are in a great position to make this game go in their favor but atlanta face so far been holding down this p3 to the t when it got a little bit scrappy a couple players from the new york subliners try to attack from laundry they read it perfectly and that's a break though subliners right through the front end they find it. Draws up top. Ooh, team shots come through in perfect amounts of time here for New York. Selly knows he's got two players weak in front of him, but only can find the first. Still, Atlanta working their way forward, and there it is. Final shots will land. Hydra wants to give it one more good crack, though. Draza just trying to hold his life, and that will be just about it. Hydra setting up over towards Laundry as New York is going to default to playing for rotation again. Yeah, off the rotation, you already have a player towards back apartments as well. But he does get sifted out. That's already a two-piece off the rotation. The both of those players from the subliners are going to spawn all the way at P5. So you have the numbers if you are Atlanta. Just got to apply this pressure, win these trade fights, and you've got the easy break. Well, New York is in first, but they're struggling to get their setup. Prime time for us to jump over to a subliners. Listen in. I got to reload. I got to reload. I'm on my dead. I have a here. Got me. 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 Take your time, take your time. I spawn top mid. I'm gonna yeah, play mid. Tunnel, tunnel, tunnel. Tunnel, dead. No, what's he's being? Yeah, yeah, on the right corner, right corner. Right corner. Right corner. Right corner. Right corner. There's two of them. Two of them. I got a ticket. They can go garage. Challenge, challenge, challenge. I got a ticket. They can go garage. I, I, I spawn top. I spawn top. Yeah, I'm back. What's the yellow? Bottom P2. What's that? Nice. I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy. I'm bumping in. Bottom P2. Bottom P2. I'm playing. Bottom P2. One spot. P2. Behind. I missed the lead. I spawn top mid. All right. Tunnel, tunnel, tunnel. One shot draws. Two tunnel, guys. Two tunnel. We have two streaks. Yeah, one's back close. One's back close. Yellow, 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 yellow. Top P2. Top P2. Top right now, MC one shot, one shot. One shot, 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 one I'm staying back crates. I have top ticket. Uh, I, have, I, have, I, have, I, have, I have top ticket. Go to me. Go to me. One shot. Crash on you. I'll fly. I'll fly and take you from. Crash. 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 Crash.
Well, to this point, New York looking clean on our money. Hills rotating over and then giving themselves the space they need. And Atlanta just has not gotten past this ticket position at all. Yeah, the Sunblinders are not having as much fun as they were in the listener versus Boston. If they are versus Atlanta, they got to make sure they are locked. And their backs are also against the wall. But Atlanta, they just haven't been able to wait, work their way in towards the P5. So you have to chalk that one up. You got to set up properly for this P1. And it's still Hydra trying to contest from the back alley. He gets cut down. So currently a 50-point game. Atlanta facing can get right back into it with some great time. But you also got to think ahead at P2. If yep. you can get a full 60, you can take this lead. Yeah, Atlanta has done a great job on 1, 3, and 4. I mean, if you yeah. were to tell anyone that, hey, you're going to get full 60, essentially, on P2 and P5, but only be down 50 points, I think you take that every day of the week. Hydra still putting focus, though, over towards this second hard point. New York need to keep some focus, though, on the actual current hard point, though, as well, because, again, Atlanta's just been soaking up so much time. So as they commit back over towards old, you'll look down to the minimap, and you see Draws is already in position over towards new. Great moment here for Atlanta. Yeah, this is an opportunity for Atlanta to get themselves right back into this game. But keep in mind, the subliners have two cruise missiles. Yeah. So they can try to open it up towards this P2. So now you're forced to play indoors. Scott's going to invest the first. Nothing is going to be able to connect. But just the repositioning out of the place from Atlanta phase to put themselves inside. Now you allow the subliners uh -oh. to try to apply pressure. But that's three dead. Atlanta phase, this is the opportunity with a full 60. They can take the lead. Yeah, hit just wasn't super well coordinated. And they're going to call second cruise okay. missile in here. Wow, this is bold. Does this find any value? You've got three members stacked up over towards ticket side. And yes, Kismet does connect on Decelium. So the only one inside the hard point is Draza. He's going to have to do it himself. First kill good. Abizi coming out of tunnel. And oh no, both cruise missiles come up essentially empty. No full secured break. Still 30 seconds to fight for. And Draza still alive atop. Yeah, you just can't scam. Just don't scam from P2. Your teammates are going to be able to flood through tunnel. And you also have one player off the rotation as well. And Sim thinking to step ahead. He knows I'm going to rely on my teammates to get a full 60. We're going to be able to tie this game up. And we get two investments out of a cruise. It's basically a wash. Starting from 0-0. Zero, zero. As we are off to the P3. It's going to be the subliners winning a couple of fights. So they're going to be the team initially again to win that rotation. Not often you see Selium being the bottom fragger for Atlanta phase. And he's having a tough time getting in position at the moment. But if that were to change, New York could find themselves kind of awakening a giant. But for now, they do open up Mural Alley to their name. Hydra up top, just making sure no one hits through mid. So New York should have an idea of where this hit is coming from. But Atlanta are taking their time here. They're looking to isolate these kills at mid before they want to really fully hit this from the front. But they kind of get both at the same time. Kismet over the top of the stairs, able to find the first and simple not be entertained. Not looking for the gunfight yet, trying to wait for help. And as he does Kismet low, Abizi will try to follow up behind him. Yeah, he just wanted to make sure his teammates are going to spawn behind him. No no one was going to go on a pinch, but it's still Kismet. And now Sky is holding it down. They hold it down so strong that you're going to set up Hydra on the pinch. Unfortunately, only thinks that there's one player there. Simp has been alive for such a long time, but he has not been able to get on to this point. Finally, with the final 15, Atlanta are able to get the break, but off the rotation. Yep. 200 points for the subliners. They can win it at this barbershop hill. Just got to hold this first push, and it's going to fall into the hands of Sky. They're applying pressure through the backside of apartments. Oh, but he gets absolutely gunned. Just doesn't know which gunfight he wants to take so new york just holding on to cabinets sink faucets whatever they can inside a kitchen here comes the play through barber atlanta all stacked through but it's hydra from the front just holding down the trigger oh. but a team name takes down two sip can still get into contest he's able to find a lot of skies but not enough for the full kill but atlanta get a full surround on the hard point the contested once again and the unfortunate team nate eventually leads to an atlanta break yeah that's such a tough team nate because subliners would have had a full setup with a clean four dead but at least you're still in the position to set yourself up for the w you already see skies is thinking a step ahead we're going to contest the hell out of this barbershop hill but we're going to win that rotation over towards p5 where we were unbreakable this time around it's going to be selling working through the back end he gets naded He's the first person to fall. Can Simp find the second? No, he cannot. Simp actually takes down a BZ. Simp wins both. So it's going to be the New York subliners. An opportunity to close out the game here at P5. What a regain map from Sib. 23 and 17. Kismet at 22 and 15. And they have shut down Selium almost completely. 220, 196. Atlanta able to at least gain P2. A chance to fight this back. But they have no view whatsoever at Sky inside the hard point. But 
problem is Kismet is the only one trying to assist them. That's going to be enough for the first kill. Sky's tagged up. There's the break on in. 229, 198. Atlanta in the hill and looking to hold. New York trying to break this from the front. Hydra lines up a couple and a chance to still have New York win the game here. <laughs> Oh, some big shots out of both SMG players. Still an opportunity to win the game. We just got to get a trophy down. Hydra's probably not going to be running one as he's a dead silence player, but it's only 10 seconds away until the subline is able to force game five. Atlanta finding a couple eliminations. They could still contest. It just comes down to can they take Hydra to the hard point, and they are able to. 245 is where it stops. Kills from Sid make this transition for Atlanta a bit more hard pressed. And Gizman inside the new hill, able to find the first. Someone's got to go. They need to confront this trade, and Droslin gets caught on the mantle. There's 246, and the kills from Skies surely send this to a map five, and they will. Oh, after a couple of blowout maps, we finally get a good one, and New York extend the series the full distance. Oh, Subliners just came out swinging on that map. Even though they didn't get anything out of their two cruise misses towards one hill, they were just so far ahead of the game. When you talk about rotations, being patient, knowing exactly where Atlanta phase are trying to break from on a majority of those hills. I think the turning point was that P3. The fact that you had Atlanta phase basically tie the game up at the end of that P2. But when you get over to the P3 side, you take laundry side. You win a couple gunfights on that side of the map. It's a 2v4 in the point. Kismet just stays alive so damn long that you saw Atlanta a phase even sip could not contest them to get them off of that hp when you get to that 200 port mark you keep barbershop hill scrappy and then even off the rotation you were the team initially to start off with it atlanta phase were forced to break on in but they could not win it at that hp yeah. subliners knew we can rotate over towards top p1 catch all of atlanta phase late off the rotation and close out the game at the final hp new york such a back and forth yeah. game, but the difference is those P2 HPs, at least the first one was great, but the second P1, the fact that they were able to walk away with a majority of that time, Atlanta phased to respond with P2, but they were just so far ahead of the game the entire way, and they were able to force that game number five. It really is the bumps at the P2 and P5 levels right there on the game flow chart that decide things. And you want to talk about again about the difference that, that makes. How often have we seen Atlanta play this map? Selium's the first one in and he just doesn't get moved. But this time not to be as New York find a way to get us to map number five. It's an invasion search and destroy. And uh, I don't anticipate a 6-0 affair no. here. So we'll break everything down as we send things off to our final break of the weekend. And we come back with will hopefully be a banger here at map number five between Atlanta and New York. We'll be right back. your game with the scuff the official controller of the call of duty league slice up your competition with the executive chef operator now available in game in the call of duty store
got a map five to close out the weekend after the first three maps were pretty much blowouts for one side or the other. We have a banger, the Skid Row Hardpoint, Take Invasion, Search and Destroy. And I think for New York, you're looking at this saying, hey, we looked good in the first Search and Destroy, but Invasion is a totally different story when it comes to playing Atlanta here, Jay. Yeah, this is their only map that they don't have a positive record on. Every other map, Subline is a great in S&D, but this is the only one they're sitting at a one and two record. And you're playing against Atlanta Phase, who are the best Invasion, Search and Destroy team that we have in the game with an overall record of six and one as you take a look at the game five staff from simp in the game with an overall record of six and one as you take a look at the game five staff from simp yeah this is mr takeover 1.67 you do that in this game five you're walking away with this w yeah absolutely the case in again it's just one of those situations that you look at some of the breakdown statistics the opening duels not as evenly dispersed as it was on high rise overall i mean like you mentioned atlanta is so good at this map and they're doing it everywhere the only real beacon for success for new york is that hey they're good at not allowing the bomb to get planted defensively and getting retakes but Outside of that, it's been a little bit more hard pressed. As skies will open us with first blood, Abizi seeing a lot of information through that front lobby over towards B, and that alerts Atlanta that the hit is on. Yeah, that's a big first blood as well, because subline is there at 12th overall on the attacking side of getting that opening duel. But the nade is going to get the job done. So already in the man advantage in the 4v3, They're trying to isolate at least this player over towards B. Still maintaining that map controls. You have Skies making sure no one overextends, but he might get some bad COD timing or some good COD timing. He's mm. able to spot a BZ on his deep pinch. This 1v1 could be pivotal for both sides. Cell able to find one Hydra does get the isolation towards a BZ. That means the bomb can freely rotate back over towards A. And Hydra's not done here at B. He wants to see if he can catch anyone from Atlanta on the rotation over, and he may have perfectly predicted Draza needs just another. Oh! oh! Draza comes back literally want hp to find the kill still hard pressed though this would be a 1v3 bomb planted yeah hydra does not lose gunfights like that that often but now it's a 1v2 left up to draza 30 seconds left players from subline is so far pushed out there's no way in hell he's able to read this setup kismet he does see him over the top but the shots don't confirm the kill skies on rotation over that was also red but wow beams from skies absolutely destroys and that's enough for new york after the first blood to find the conversion and smiles already coming through okay they started to have some fun man they started to have some fun but it all started with the first blood from skies gets it with the nade and then they iso a bz on that deep pinch even though Selium finds a kill through the minute map, once you take down mm. a BZ, you know there's no one defending that A site. Let's get the bomb down, play our numbers. And then in the 3v1, eventually turns into a 1v2. Just too far away from that site. Too much ground to cover right there from Jaza as New York take the first. Three kills in the round from Skies after the first blood. Huge. How about this? Quick rotation. Double defenders making their way through dark and up close and personal. Siv has been seen. A BZ shots. Not enough to confirm again. But Kismet, completely unknown, is just holding over the top of the B control point. And uh oh, not like this! Sims <laughs> able to find both. Kismet tried to stamp around, but just too late to the fight. Selium gonna get isolated here, but the bomb should surely be planted. Yeah, you get all the info right there if you are Atlanta. Selium drops, at least you know both players are on that side of the map. So a free B bomb plant. And now you're gonna force the subliners in a 3v2 retake. They're slowly trying to work their way up through Ice Room side. All of Atlanta base have all of their bases covered. You have mid dark. You have the over extension as well. You're just playing for some info and they got it all. This is a tough breakdown. Have to try to isolate somewhere somehow, but no, no one's getting through this door. Skies will at least get his fourth elimination, so he'll stay 4 0 as he will concede the round. We'll go 1 1. Maybe a chance he could find a BZ on the exit, but you don't want to overstay your welcome here with a potential cruise missile to be earned. Yeah, you just want to get one, get out with your life. And unfortunately, a BZ with the beams. Wow. wow. See, that definitely caught Skies off guard. He was not ready for him to be in that positioning. But a BZ, doesn't matter what guns he has. Oh, that was actually Draza. He had the snap right there with that MCW. Even the nade was probably going to connect, but just great adjustments right there from Atlanta phase, more specifically on Simp. The fact that Kismet put himself in that position for a free death is kind of tough, but Atlanta phase, walk away with an attacking ground, tied up at one. Okay. Reset the tables again. I mean, it's one of those situations you think back to the high rise, how convincing every single round was for New York. 
you got to be feeling confident in what you brought to the table in search overall even though this map necessarily hasn't been great for you in the past it's the bomb this time makes its way over towards b double stack set up defensively on a this is a heavy loaded a defense actually for atlanta with selium watching the deep water out and I was really curious to how Skaz was able to hit that nade all the way through mid courtyard. I'm pretty sure a majority of the subliners players are running ordnance gloves. So they're able to throw those nades, throw those stuns a little bit deeper. But it's still a forward four. Subliners trying to think how they are setting up around this B point. It's actually not a single player on the site. They're just playing for the crosses and all information gained now. If you are Atlanta, let's make sure we shut down this play. But New York hasn't fully committed to this yet. I mean, Kismet's up real far, but. He doesn't have to stay here. He's got enough support to back up if they want to. The problem would be the clock. And Kismet now will commit into a position to where this has to be a B play. Yeah, with only 30 seconds left. Just had to try to keep him off bomb as long as you can. Try to see if anyone has any tax to take him off of the site. Great shots from Drazen to at least not allow him to get it down for free. But here comes the smoke grenade to cut off the angle. And it's actually Sip who invests it. This is what he usually does in the beginning of the season. He just runs right through the smoke. Him and Drazen combined for three. This guy's is so far away from the rest of his team. With only 10 seconds left, he can't even get the damn bomb down. This is Atlanta phase. Clean on the defensive setup. Yeah, really swift rotation. And maybe more importantly, it's the simple fact that even though Kismet doesn't necessarily fall to the opening shots when he tries to plant, it pushes him off long enough for the rest of the Atlanta defense to get yeah. here. Huge. Wow. And I think it's, again, retrospectively, New York's going to look back at that round and said, we did have opportunities to back up and delay, but I think it just simply comes down to, like you mentioned, the clock just became an issue too quickly. Yeah, it just became an issue. And then you allow Sim to invest that smoke grenade, basically shut down all the players on tank who were trying to watch that back end of ice cream. Just runs right through, finds the first kill on Draza with the second. So a great defensive setup right there from Atlanta face to read exactly what the subliners were going to do. Now they're back on the attacking side, and it's Selium again on the island. Watching that overextension as Hydra tried to be aggressive, but you're going to be able to back them down. Now force all of the subliners to basically play back in their spawn. Yeah, lots of early info, though, that no one was playing up in towards that A lobby. So the defense can kind of gauge a little bit more focus towards B. Draza, BZ, long range shots, tags it, backs him off just a touch. This is all just pixel peaks until Kismet is able to convert first blood on BZ trying to stretch forward. It's a big kill onto a BZ. And it's already 40 seconds knocked off of that game clock. So another play knows from Atlanta phase. We cannot waste a lot of time trying to isolate Kismet. We have to bring it back towards Cafe. It's now with only 40 seconds left. Some liners have read this perfectly. It's time to get aggressive up through the B streets, and that's exactly what they're going to do. The tank big win for simp gets us to a 3v3 time still becoming an issue skies stops draza from getting any more control over the a site now kids on a flying free beyond the simp that's your bomb carrier down and a nice follow-up gunfight over the top of the a site as new york keep us level yeah, it's just strong on defense, man. The fact that Kismet is able to walk away with that first blood, it basically shuts down all the game plan from Atlanta face to try to isolate him. And then in the 3v4, it's just not enough time to work up on this A site. You did not clear anything towards Cafe. You didn't clear anything towards the mid-tank. So you're just checking every single corner as you work your way up. Just wasting that game clock, and it plays right into the hands of the subliners as eventually Kismet goes on that deep pinch, finds a freebie, and then Hydra closes out with the final. All tied up at two now. What's the call here? Both teams have shown a little bit of everything to this point. Atlanta going with two defenders, draws in Simp over the top of B and maybe even a bit further. New York trying to play a little bit more passively, get a read on some of this aggression, and they're in a pretty decent spot to make sure at least nobody gets too far forward in any part of the map. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. That's why they have this set up the way that they have it. No one's going to push to the right street, no one up middle, and definitely no one off the B side. So. I know all of Atlanta phase is going to be playing towards the back end, but BZ did put down a couple shots in towards Cafe. So you slowly try to clear that one out. A couple sound cues come in, so BZ knows that they are going to be in the cafeteria. How long do they decide to play a patient before they sniff him out? Pretty much a one for one position for BZ if he does get challenged. Door opens. Smoke comes through. A BZ doesn't get baited to take any shots whatsoever, so he still has a chance to, again, at least have some sort of a gunfight here. Smoke dissipates. New York have not committed, but again, Atlanta's defense is still so confident in their setup. Now a BZ gets activated. He does go one for one before the trade comes through. 25 seconds on the clock. Bomb gets collected. Has not been committed for a plant yet. Disguise is trying to isolate onto Selium, but a difficult decision to make. And now you've got Cell pushing forward. Held back though by Kismet, and the bomb does get planted. 3v3. Bomb gets planted, but now you allow Atlanta face to already be on your heels. 
they find the kill on to sell him. It's all about wow. the trades, but Kismet on the pinch. Makes it happen through the midside of Cafe. Finds the final two on the round. I would have liked to see Skaj just instantly go for the mom plan, but once Selim had him one shot, you saw Selim was trying to commit towards that fight. Great cover fire from Kismet to keep his teammate alive, and then the reposition in through Cafe to line them up perfectly, secure the attacking round for the Sublanders. Now take advantage, up 3-2. It really is that play. Stopping Selim from denying the plant everything for New York. Wow. Okay. Five in a row for Kismet on top of that. Sib's still trying to get on the board, but doesn't take away from how thrilling of a map this has been to this point. Atlanta coming passively off spawn. Kismet just a couple of the tags, just trying to call out how many players have crossed. He's also playing for one kill, man. If you could earn that cruise missile on a map like Invasion, you're attacking over towards B, you can basically shut that down whenever the hell you want. But it's already 25 seconds knocked off of the game clock. Atlanta face slowly working their way up through B. Just checking every corner. He could potentially be cages. He could potentially be on the backside of tractor. All right, BZ's getting all this info. So now you know there's probably no one on the site if we check out this close corner as well. Yeah. Smoke thrown deep. There is a trophy system on point for New York, but there are no members here. So Atlanta will take a little bit of extra caution clearing out backside of B. Kismet, deep cross. A BZ try to contest him. Well, I'm still not in a position to get fully planted yet. And meanwhile, Hydra clears up everything at A. So New York have a multitude of options when it comes to trying to set up their retake. Yeah, because now you're forcing Draza to overextend and pick up the flank. And Hydra finds his second on the round. So the Tiny Terror is left in a 2v4 now. Whoa, clean shots from Simp immediately after the plant. Can he stay alive long enough? Does he get enough support from BZ? Sure does. There's another elimination. Skies denies the extra push through and then Kismet finishes things off. That's the cruise missile earned as well as New York will go up to 4-2 overall. And that round all falls into the hands of Hydra. Hydra, man. The fact that he was the island player playing the sole position over towards the cafe. He wins the one-on-one -on -one versus Selium. And then no, and then he knows there's only 30 seconds left. They have to be going towards B. Catches the timing onto Draza. And in the 4v2, even though the Tiny Terrors are able to pick apart two of them to make it a 2v2, everything that you wanted was right in front of you if you were the subliner. Skies finds one. You set up Kismet for the final. And now you have a cruise missile to work with. Towards the later half of this game, subliners are starting to pull away. Even though Sib is sitting at 0-6, they're playing 3v4, still dominating. Yeah. Kismet, close, personal, SMG in hand. BZ denied. First blood tallied once again. Stun also tries to break down the doorway, and oh my goodness, the hit fire nearly good enough. The wall banks from Skies cannot confirm the trade. We'll stay at an even 3v3. 3v3 now. And Hyde just starting to work his way up through B. He is going to be the bomb carrier. Might have got some great COD timing as Draws is not going to be able to spot him. So the bomb is going to get planted for free, and this is where you would want Kismet to be alive, because just in case anything hits the fan, that cruise missile can save you this round. Stun's out. Selium denied at dark. And now Sky okay. knows he can rotate back over, but Sib, it's a heck of a way to get your first two eliminations. Want to make it three? <laughs> sure. Over the top of the concrete barrier, no worries. Wow, clean, crisp shots from Sib, and now you've got map point from New York. Yeah, he must have heard me say, yeah, Jay, don't worry about it. I know I haven't put spawned in yet, but I'm going to close out this round for my team. Straight beams coming in out of young Sib. Finds three on the round, all gunny, all snapshots. Is now the subliner is able to chain three rounds in a row to put them at game point. And keep in mind, they still got that cruise missile. So if yep. you are Atlanta phase, you can't go beat. We got it. Try to take cafe control. That seems to be the case, but all the team shots. Draza able to convert onto Sim for her first blood. Hydra gets mantled up top, but the numbers so good here for Atlanta. Sky's down low, kind of watching almost the same thing, just a little high-low setup here, and Atlanta's going to read that, hey, this is a wide-open site, and they all see the door pop, so they should know that someone's playing inside, and yep, there's Sky's drops. The only player they don't see is Hydra, who I don't know if he actually saw Draza sneak through yet or not. I definitely don't think he saw Draza, but at least finds a freebie onto Simp. Draza's there for the trade, and now it's Kismet left in a 1v3, makes it a 1v2, so has a lot of time to work with. We're just going to have to bomb. Surely Cell checks this. Surely. Okay, he does. All right. Like the idea, but Atlanta not going to let that one go by. So they get a third round, but like you call it still, when do we see this cruise missile called out and will it have more success than today on Skid Row?
Yeah, now subliners need to figure out what they want to do on their attacking ground now. Because you can open up that B site. Atlanta Face have the info that you have a cruise missile, so they're going to be playing in towards the ice cream, potentially towards the back wall. But if you can invest that cruise missile nice and early to at least force the repositionings from Atlanta Face to open up either site, that might be the play call. Not even to try to get a kill with it. Double stack through dark. VZ crossing angle. Familiar from a couple of the rounds ago, but it's just damage tallied. Simp up top. Can they find a way to maybe catch New York a bit off guard from this forward position? BZ still playing over the top of A and selling him, just, like you mentioned, not going to opt to play over towards Waterside. He has to play inside Cafe. Yeah, you got to play indoors to keep in mind that bomb carry is going to be towards the Water Street side. So how long does Kismet wait before he decides to invest this cruise missile? As he's working his way over towards the treehouse side. All right, it's time to go. go. It goes all the info around the map. You're going to force all of Atlanta face indoors, and this might be the opportunity where the subliners can do exactly what they just did, but they're going to actually take their ground, push up that left side of the street. And they're going deeper, but oh, Skies nearly gets caught. Gets over to Patio, fine. Sib over the middle of the map also, kind of keeping Atlanta at bay, but maybe the bigger news here is that FaZe has stayed completely alive until Draza tries to reclaim some lost ground, and it's Hydra who gets first blood. 23 seconds on the clock, and there's still not an entry to either of these bomb sites yet. Sky's still working for it. Ooh. Shots good by Abiz, he tries to slip away. Hydra looking for more. Celium inside cafe, shots are perfect in Atlanta. Survive through the cruise and stay alive in the map five. That was just a perfect setup right there from Atlanta phase. They knew that that cruise missile was not gonna get a kill, but the ground that was not being watched was Water Street. They instantly take from cafe right back to ASD. You basically trap all of the subliners on that side of the map. And with only 25 seconds left, you saw the subliners, they had to get a move on it. It's just the only fortunate thing. The site that they wanted to go to, that's where majority of the Atlanta Flays players were. As Atlanta Fays withstand that cruise missile. Stay alive in this search and destroy a little bit longer. And now you're starting to feel it if you are the subliners, man. You're Absolutely. starting to feel it. You need to try to close this one out. Absolutely. Stun lands. Kismet gets right in this early cross of BZ. Tagged up though at range. It's Sib shots that kind of keep him off the angle. And that means that there could be some mystery of Kismet backed up or not. Still playing forward, though, but Atlanta need to dissect this situation they commit to be. And yeah, because they did spot Kismet on the cross, so you don't want to get aggressive in towards Broken. Potentially lose that trade fight. They're just trying to keep him at bay in that position, but play call might be just to wrap back over towards the cafe area. It's just already 40 seconds knocked off of the game clock. They're still just trying to figure out where yeah. Kismet is. Yeah. Nades out. Abizi trying to check. His mid not going to get surprised by this push. And yep, he gets first blood. Can he get more than that? Wants it. Dancing with the devil here, but stays alive. Support from Sib. Make sure that this is not a concentrated effort. Hydra now through mid map. Oh my, this could do it. Sib and Selium, last two left in a 2v4. Kismet just finessing forever. Oh my goodness. Hello. There it is. Pistol for the kill and Selium drops. New York wins both search and destroys and takes down Atlanta, the only other team to do that, Toronto. And now all of a sudden, we definitely have a clearer picture of our top four. And the subliners just came out swinging in the S and D game mode. 6-0 in map number two and a nice little mid game adjustments going from both these teams, but a 6-4 to close it out. Walk away with the series 3-2. And I don't know about you,